Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday on the 15th of July, Mozilla has made an interesting announcement saying that after years in development, it will be releasing Web GPU on Windows in Firefox version 141. We are currently sitting on version 140. And Web GPU has been available in Google Chrome since 2023 and is expected to be available in Safari 26. Now, just a quick recap as to what Web GPU is all about. It gives web content a modern interface to the user's graphics processor, which enables high performance computation and rendering. And as mentioned, has been used in Google Chrome since 2023. And according to Mozilla, it believes it will raise the ceiling for games, visualization and local computation on the web. Now, if we just head over to the Web GPU Samples website, this is in Firefox Stable version 140. You can see if I head to Web GPU Features and I click on any of these, it says Navigator.gpu is not defined. Web GPU not available in this browser. So not available currently in the stable version of Firefox. But if I head over to the nightly version, which is currently sitting on version 142. So this is a version above our next stable release coming out as 141. And I head to the same website and I click on one of these web GPU features. You will see after a second, just take into render, it will start rendering what it's calling render bundles. Now, just on a side note though, Mozilla has said there's still a bit of work to do. And if you have a look at the same web GPU features in Google Chrome, as an example, it's a lot more crisp and clear. So even in nightly version 142, it's not up to par, in my opinion, as it is as an example in Google Chrome. So still a bit of work to do before this rolls out in version 141. Now, Mozilla says that although Firefox 141 enables Web GPU only on Windows. It plans to ship Web GPU on Mac and Linux in the coming months and finally on Android. And it mentions that Windows was its first priority because that's where the great majority of its users are on Windows. But Mozilla says it's looking forward to enabling it on the other platforms as soon as it is robust and its test cover coverage is adequate. And Mozilla also says that WebGPU is a large complex APR and it's focused its efforts so far on making high visibility WebGPU apps and demos run smoothly. And it believes it should work well in Firefox 141 for many use cases. And as mentioned, we are currently sitting on version 140. And according to the Firefox release calendar, version 141, the next stable release, where Mozilla says it will be releasing WebGPU, is scheduled for release on the 22nd of July. That's next week. So that'll be late Tuesday afternoon in my region. So today we are on the 16th. So they've just got a couple of days to try and get things up to par before that rolls out to the stable version. So lots of work to do. And if and when that happens, I'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.